lesson planning easy and inviting for both yourself and your students. I like to do my lesson plans in PowerPoint. Of course, you could use Keynote or you could use Google Slides, whichever you prefer, but this keeps me organized and keeps my students on task. So as we progress through the day, you can see my lesson plans go along with. When students walk in, they understand what they need to do. There's usually a picture that we've taken the day before to remind them of what we've done the day before. Little puzzler questions to start our day. And then I often will go out to our electronic curriculum and grab some images that I want because sometimes, let's face it, those sites just don't work. And I feel better when I've got the information right there that I can use for my students. And then I love having a slide up so when my students are saying, what page are we on, Mrs. Tenbar? All they have to do is look up and I even have the little reminder at the bottom, what should we be working on? In our language arts curriculum, we've got four different books. And so I and my students find it helpful to have an actual picture of the book up that I expect them to have out on their desks and work on, which is terrific. I have reminders up for myself of what's coming up next in the day. And why not occasionally even record a little fun video for them to get them into something and just kind of break up the stuff. You can see here we're working on a performance task, one of those wonderful things we do for Smarter Balanced. And on this one, I thought, well, why not just use a new little website and have the answer come in like this? It just makes it more interesting and a little more engaging and fun for the students. But notice, everything we're doing is here on my PowerPoint. I don't even take to chance when I want something from YouTube. I go out and I grab my YouTube video and I download it onto my file so I've got it ready to go. Even when we're reading a book out loud to the students, I will have it up on a slide so they can take a look at the cover, they can remember who the author is and think about it. And I like to be really specific when they're, they have work to do, what they're expected to do and, and what I want them to complete. And again, even at the end of the day, there it is, show some pride in reminding them to clean up, pick up and pack up, be good, play nice, don't fight, share your toys. So why not make your life and your student's life easier? Do your lesson planning with slides or Keynote or, as I do, PowerPoint. That is today's Teachable Moment.